Hi everyone, it's Grace from Esri. In this video, we will follow the Navigate Maps and Scenes tutorial in ArcGIS Pro. This tutorial will show you how to use the Explore tool and the on-screen navigator to explore a map and a scene, link views to navigate two views at the same time, and navigate maps and scenes using the keyboard. You can follow the full written instructions for this tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation. Let's get started. I've started ArcGIS Pro and signed into my ArcGIS Online account. We'll start by opening the Navigate Maps and Scenes project package. Make sure the portal is set to ArcGIS Online and search for Navigate Maps and Scenes. Open the one with the authoritative badge. First, Let's reset the panes for mapping so that only the contents and catalog panes are open. In the contents pane, turn on the Aoraki Mount Cook National Park layer to see the park boundary. Let's start by navigating the map using the Explore tool. In the Map tab, make sure the Explore tool is selected. Hover over the tool to view its functionality. Move the mouse over the map and notice that the latitude-longitude coordinates of the mouse pointer's location are displayed. You can zoom in and out of the map using the mouse wheel and pan around the area by dragging the map. Right-click the National Park layer and click Zoom to Layer to zoom to the extent of the park boundary. Turn on the Aoraki Mount Cook layer. Press and hold the Control key and click the peak to center it in the view. Change the map scale to 1 to 100,000. On the map tab, click bookmarks and create a new bookmark named Aoraki Mount Cook. Go to the National Park bookmark. Click the Go to XY tool and enter 170.13 east as the longitude and 43.77 south as the latitude. Click Flash Location to see the location of the Mount Cook Airport. Click Pan to Location to center the XY coordinates on the map. On the Map tab, click Fix Zoomed In until the airport is visible on the base map. Click Go to XY again to remove the overlay. Let's see how navigation works in a 3D scene. Make the scene active and go to the Aoraki Mount Cook bookmark you created earlier. Bookmarks made in 2D maps still work in 3D scenes. The view faces north and the perspective is perpendicular to the ground. Turn on the Aoraki Mount Cook layer and zoom and pan to explore the scene. You can tilt the camera by clicking the scroll wheel of the mouse while moving the mouse up and down. Rotate the camera by clicking the scroll wheel and moving the mouse from side to side. You can reference the navigator to see which direction is north. Return to the Aoraki Mount Cook bookmark. On the navigator, click Show Full Control to show its full functionality. Pan the scene by dragging the outer ring of the navigator in any direction. As you drag, a faint arrow extends from the navigator to indicate the direction. Tilt and rotate the camera by dragging the inner ring. Look around from a fixed position by dragging the inner sphere. You can display the map and scene side by side and link them to synchronize navigation. Drag the active Mount Cook 3D View tab and drop it on the right-hand docking target that appears. On the View tab, click the Link Views drop-down arrow and click Center and Scale. Navigate the map or scene using the Explore tool or the Navigator to make the map and scene pan, zoom, and rotate together. Click Link Views again to unlink the views. Pan or zoom in either view to confirm that the views are unlinked. The Mount Cook map may now be rotated at an unfamiliar angle. In the Contents pane, right-click the map name and click Properties. On the General tab, click the Rotation drop-down arrow and click 0 degrees. Drag the Mount Cook 3D View tab and drop it on top of the Mount Cook View tab so they no longer display side-by-side. -side. In addition to the Explore tool and the on-screen navigator, you can also navigate maps and scenes using the keyboard. Press Ctrl and F6 to make the Mount Cook map view active. Press the Alt key to show key tips on the ribbon. Press M to select the map tab and BK to open the bookmarks gallery. 
Press the down arrow key to select the Aoraki Mount Cook bookmark. Press the Enter key to go to the bookmark. Now, let's change the base map. Start by pressing Alt and then M again. Then press BM to open the base map gallery. Press the down arrow key and then the left arrow key to select the imagery hybrid base map and press the Enter key to apply the new base map. Pan the map using the arrow keys. You can press and hold arrow keys to pan continuously or press two arrow keys simultaneously to pan in non-cardinal directions. Zoom out using the hyphen key until you can see the entire South Island. Press and hold the equals key to zoom back in. The insert key can be used to zoom to the full extent of the map. In this case, the extent is limited by the scene's coordinate system. Press the comma key to return to the previous extent. Press Ctrl and F6 to make the scene active. Open the bookmarks gallery by pressing Alt, M, and then BK, and use the arrow keys to select the National Park bookmark. Press the Enter key to go to the bookmark. Open the base map gallery as you did earlier and select the Imagery Hybrid base map. Press the Alt key again and press M to select the map tab. Press T to select the Go to XY tool and open the overlay. Press the Tab key four times to put the cursor in the longitude box of the overlay. Type 168.66 East, press Tab, and type 45.03 South as the latitude. Press Tab three times to select the Pan tool on the overlay, and press Enter to pan the scene to Lake Wakatipu. Press the Tab key twice to select the map scale box. Press the Delete key to delete the current value, type 10,000, and press Enter to zoom in to Queenstown. Press the Alt key, M, and T to deselect the Go to XY tool overlay. You can use many of the same keyboard shortcuts in the 3D scene as you did for navigating the 2D map. Consult the written documentation for the comprehensive list of keyboard shortcuts. For more detailed steps, follow the full written tutorial in the ArcGIS Pro documentation, linked in the description for this video.